Next slide, please. Next slide. Next. Can you all see my screen? This is so 2020. Let's face it, in 2022, you need to do more to engage your audience. Hi, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. If you want to stand out in 2022, then you have to take your presentation skills to the next level. What if you could add to your Zoom or Teams video overlay graphics, animations, media, second camera shot, almost like in a TV production that will create a wow effect and will not only make your audience wanting to binge watch your presentations, but will also deliver your message with impact. The good news is that you can do that with OBS Studio. To set the right expectations, this video is for you if you're an absolute beginner with OBS Studio and you want to understand why everybody's talking about it. So you can take your first step into evaluating whether the software is for you. I hear you saying, I'm not a technical person, that is too complex, but I guarantee you can do it. But let's now start from the basics. What is OBS? What are you up for tonight? A quick bite or a five-star restaurant? Don't worry, this is not MasterChef. The reason why I've asked this question is because I want to introduce you to OBS with the restaurant analogy. Let's say you own a restaurant where you also work as a chef. I'm choosing this nice Italian trattoria. In the restaurant, we have two main areas, the dining room and the kitchen. In the dining room, you have your guests sitting at the table and eating the courses that you're preparing. In the kitchen, we find the raw ingredients that are needed to prepare the courses, but they need to be assembled, so we need a cooking pan. So you mix them, cook them, spice them up, until the course is ready to be served on the plate. The last thing we miss is the waiter, who's taking the meal from the kitchen, bringing it to the dining room and serving it to your guests on the table. And obviously, in the kitchen there is you, the chef. Speaking in presentation terms, the restaurant is your overarching project and OBS is the kitchen where you're preparing your presentation. And obviously you are the chef, you are the one who's preparing the presentation. The ingredients are sources and media like your webcam, a video, some text or overlay graphics that singularly don't make a presentation. They need to be assembled, cooked, spiced up. The cooking pan where you're throwing them in is called a scene. You can consider a scene as an empty slide in PowerPoint or Keynote where you're adding all the elements that will represent your message. Similar to PowerPoint where you have multiple slides or to a restaurant menu where you have different courses, in OBS you can have multiple scenes. So once you've created all your scenes with your ingredients, you're ready to serve the meal. You'll put the presentation on the plate and you will serve it to your guests. The guests are your audience and the table is where the presentation is served. So Zoom or Teams or Google Meet. But we need a waiter. How do we bring the presentation from OBS to your video conferencing platform? The waiter is called Virtual Camera. It's a piece of software that is already included in OBS and that takes the content, the output from OBS and plays a trick on your video conferencing platform. The trick is that it makes it believe that the signal coming from OBS is actually a signal coming from a camera. But in reality, it's not a real camera. That's why it's called virtual camera. Anyway, your video conferencing software will see the OBS virtual camera as one of the cameras in the video sources list. So if you select it, everything that will be output from OBS will be shown in your video conferencing video frame. It's not difficult, isn't it? I told you, let's now go and see how the kitchen looks like. If you need help to download and install it properly, or if you're unsure about the system requirements, well, all of this is covered in my free course. Check out the link in the description. Okay, you've opened your restaurant. Let's go see how the kitchen looks like. Wow, that's great, right? Not really, huh? I know, it's all grey. And I have to admit that there are other things in life that look more beautiful. But let's get to know it. First thing in making OBS your friend is learn how not to be scared of it. And this is what we'll do. Let's start from the big black window. That's the OBS preview and output window. These are your eyes looking in the cooking pan while you're assembling the ingredients. The panel at the bottom left is the scenes panel. Here you have your empty cooking pans. By default, OBS opens with one scene that's called Scene. You'll be able to rename it and to create as many other scenes as you wish. If that helps, that's again your empty PowerPoint slide. Next to it, we find the Sources panel. This is the cupboard where you're storing all the ingredients. You need to open it to pick them and put them into the cooking pan. So let's open the cupboard by clicking on Plus. And these are all the ingredients that are available in the kitchen. We have the camera, audio, text, 
display capture, and much more. Then there is the audio mixer, where you will see the meters of your audio sources. Next to it, we find scene transitions, which are basically the animations that we can choose to transition from one scene to the other one. There are many settings we can play with, but you don't need it for now. The kitchen is yours, so you can adapt it a little bit by reorganizing the spaces and even moving the walls, so you can resize all the different panels and move them around as you wish. The next small but very important thing I want to share with you is where to find the virtual camera. You'll see the virtual camera button to the far right. Clicking it will be the only single thing you need to do to send the output signal from OBS to your video call. And that's it, even if it's gray, I hope it's not so scary anymore. Now, if you have only 30 minutes and you want to set up your first OBS scene with your camera, logo and lower third, and use it already at your next video call, you should absolutely check out my free course on my website. Click the link in the description. But before you go, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch this video. Thank you.